yo what's up guys and welcome back to another no money spent video what i want to do here is i want to go over what i've been grinding as of late and we've been doing this on the twitch stream so come say hello i want to show you where the team is we're going to open packs and we're going to take a look at some of the new stuff and what the show has i'm pretty excited let's get into it as always if you enjoy this series no money spent all that good stuff do me the biggest of favors leave a thumbs up on the video and comment down below letting me know your favorite part it helps the youtube algorithm a ton and i appreciate you i love you i don't you can comment down below and be like hey dog hot cheetos are delicious to which i agree anyway this is the team as it currently stands we've got diamonds everywhere and you might be going wowzers demo how do we get there i'm gonna show you there chuck or whatever your name is we ended the last video by talking about the other program and the world baseball classic now since then i have done all the first round moments just gonna scroll through there so you can see all those yep i've done the quarterfinal moments i've done the semifinals i've done the championship moments and i'm gonna be honest with you these were incredibly easy they really were not hard you saw me do quite a few of them in the last video i honestly sat there and i watched videos on people that are living in their van and that they re i watched i watched remodel van videos while i was doing it anyway so i did all that and then i did the world's baseball classic conquest now this right here this little tiny conquest map did not take long all you have to do is knock out one two three four five six teams did i count that right i sure did math my trigonometry teacher in high school would be so happy i took the cards that you get from this program like this 95 pack as you continue to grind you're gonna get these you're gonna get these 90 overalls i've taken them and as you can see i've gotten parallel xp with a ton of them now there's some that i haven't completely done i'm at 180 stars you can see in the corner over there so i'm not done with the program but i've unlocked quite a bit we got yamamoto he's there we can start doing his missions we got kondo i believe is how you say that i don't know i'm really bad at reading don't yell at me i'm doing my best but we got him by the way this card right here right field's catcher first third left and center dude does everything we've gotten some packs along the way we got Yu chang out here we got uh luis urias coming up here that's the next reward i'm gonna get so right here's where i'm at okay we're gonna continue to do that i'm gonna continue to do conquest stuff to, to further complete this program as i want to knock this all the way out i want randy rosarena on the team i also did the world baseball classic showdown now showdown is just moments that you can't fail definitely recommend doing that uh you're gonna draft a team with that you're gonna come over here to the world baseball classic you'll draft a team and you can't come you can't fail these little missions but as you knock these out and win when you beat this you get a, you get quite a few points as well too so make sure you knock that out i've also started working on team affinity now for those people that don't necessarily maybe you don't care entirely about the wbc cards but you want a bunch of nice cards the team affinity stuff is really really nice i've been working on these a little bit here and there as you can see there's a little per, uh, percentage bar at the bottom that shows i've done some of it the nl east as a braves fan is what i really want to do i came down here and i did all the moments so i started my head start there i went ahead and i did the um i started the nl east conquest map and if conquest confuses you tune into the twitch stream we're going to be doing the whole usa conquest map over there that link's in the description conquest is pretty simple you just want to cover it all beat all the places that have a team logo on there so like for instance you just want to sim everything and then you want to play the one that has a logo on there you see what i'm saying i don't know i'm explaining it kind of bad you'll see anyway i started that i've been grinding quite a bit here's our packs with all that that i've done okay we have 25 show packs four ball as a habit we have some team affinity packs this is also going to be huge and help with live series stuff we want to do that we got a diamond we got two diamond duos we got uniforms yay we got nl east captain packs i'm excited al central al east and nl central uh packs choice packs here so we can do some of these more some more of these missions uh we got a captain's pack here from the season program because remember any xp you're getting in any place you're still getting progress in the main season one xp path i'm currently sitting at 70,298 points so this is where i'm at and i've gotten all these goodies along the way now you might not be as far as me yet or you might be farther either way that's totally fine there's no race there's no wrong way to do this don't overwhelm yourself you're good everything will be okay you can do this 100 i promise you you got this now i am going to open these packs today but there was something i wanted to take a look at first i have always enjoyed with mlb the show where they come out with players like for instance 
Christy Mathewson, players from way back when, and you can kind of learn a little bit about them. They've come together with a program that I'm really excited to take a look at because these are a lot of players that have incredible stories. And from what I've heard, I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna try it for the first time with you. They've done this, this, this program really well to tell the story. The moments are fun and you can get some really cool rewards for Diamond Dynasty. So all three of those makes this sound really fun. And I'm talking about the new edition of the Negro Leagues to MLB The Show. So we're gonna jump in here and I don't wanna talk over cutscenes. Okay, so post-editing Tyler here, I got Winston with me and Tank is somewhere behind me as well. But I tried to upload this video with the cutscenes from all these awesome stories. And I really mean it, it was really fun, okay? They have been copyright claimed all over the place. So I can't show them in the video, but as somebody that's already played it, I highly recommend going through, playing these yourself. A, you're gonna get the rewards, sure. But B, they were really cool. Bob Kendrick has a terrific voice, uh, a fantastic story. I learned a lot. It's a pretty cool experience. Definitely recommend it. Can't show the cutscenes in the video. That's why they're not here. But if anything, at least you get to experience it on your own. I'm sorry I couldn't include it in the video. I love you. Let's get back to it. Insanely amazing voice. I noticed it in the developer streams. Dude, just, I just want to hear him. Does that make sense? Now, in the event that I'm not gonna have the cutscenes, and here's the thing. I don't know if that music that you just heard in the background is gonna copyright strike this video. If I don't include the cutscenes, cause I haven't edited this obviously, cause I'm recording it live. If I don't include the cutscenes, it's because they would have been copyright struck, or I just felt that maybe you wanted to watch the cutscenes on your own and not have them from the video. You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. Anyway, you got a ton of different stories here. You got Satchel Paige, you got Hilton Smith, Rube Foster, Hank Thompson, Buck O'Neill, Jackie Robinson, John Do John Donaldson, and Martin DeHigo. I don't know if I said that right. I'm trying my best here. And what is this? Buck O'Neill first base card, the Captain series. How do I get that? I'm gonna tell you what, this card art here, let me move my face cam because I, I, I want you to be able to see it. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm a real big sucker for kind of any kind of card art. This is, I, I like this. I like this card art a lot. The whoever, I, I can't remember the name of the artist, but they did a phenomenal job. But from my understanding, whenever you complete one of these stories, not only do you get to like learn the history of them, which I think is pretty dope, you also will get um, a card of theirs for MLB The Show Diamond Dynasty, which I think will be really cool. And if we're no money spent, baby, I mean, heck, this is, I mean, you're telling me I can get a free Satchel Page? I'm all in. So I want to do Satchel Page first because a lot of these players, I feel like baseball fans have heard of, like I've heard of Satchel Page. I know who that is. Personally, I don't know who Hilton Smith is. Call me an uncultured fan. That's probably true. I don't know. I didn't, I don't know who some of these guys are. So I'm really excited to learn their stories, but Satchel Page, I know of, and I want to do his story. So we're going to do it. I don't know how long these are. I don't know if these are all going to be one video, but it looks like there's nine episodes or nine moments, I guess. So let's jump in. I think it's really cool how they're doing like the teaching. Like I'm like, I feel like I'm learning, but I'm also, I think this is cool. This is dope. I like this. This is also the new stadiums from the era. I know they said they had to do some tweaking because like there's no dugouts or whatever, but I think this is, this is kind of really cool to kind of like jump into history, if you will. And so we're going to get to pitch with him. I'm pretty excited. We're jumping right in, baby. We're going to go with his fastball. I think I've been told goes, dude, look, I think it's kind of cool how they made sure they kept the uniforms like super authentic and the glove, the windup as a lot of pitchers that are older have this, have the insanely long windups. So it'll be interesting to see how people, dude, 104, what? Oh my God. it will be interesting to see how people feel about using them online in the sense of like, dude, like, cause a lot of people don't like the long windups, but I feel like this card is just something oh, you gotta use. It's just too cool. Got him, 104. I can't believe you couldn't hit 104. I can't believe it. Now to some people, I've seen some comments on Twitch. They've been talking about the, the velocity of these pitches not being accurate. What, what MLB The Show does a lot with really honestly any old, old, old veterans and, and, and legends and stuff like that, is what they do is if they were dominant and disgusting during the age that they played, then they've they've kind of tuned them to where you don't have to be like, man, I want to use these all time greats, but they only throw 90. You know what I mean? They've made them to where you can use really any era of the sport in the game and not be hampered, which I think is cool because you have the people that want to use the historical cards and then you have people that want to use live series cards and then the future, the prospect cards. So you can kind of really pick any way you want to play and Really, honestly, any of these cards from any of the, the the eras of time are good. Again, I don't know the whole story. Maybe he did throw 105. I have no idea. I just got absolutely destroyed on that pitch to the track. 
Let's go. When I looked it up on Google, it said that they thought the fastest pitch he ever threw was like 98, but that's why they do it. So I think it's pretty cool. Curveball. Yerp. Let's oh, go. Shabam. Okay, I think I need strikeouts. Please, please drop that. Please drop that, sir. Sir, why? Also, I know a lot of people have asked where uh, Gibson is. Where is jo where's Josh Gibson going to be? I think they kind of already oh, leaked it now. saying that it'll be in season two. Now, that doesn't mean it'll be out this year. I think when they expand on this program nope. next year and they add more legends, one ball, one Gibson break. will be the big exciting one that they bring in next year. He's coming. It's already been confirmed he's coming, but I think it's next year's game. I almost wonder if you can make people mad online by using this card with the long windup. Like maybe they get impatient. God, that was disgusting. Let's go. I need one more punchy absolute paint love oh, to see one. it paint again i'm just keep pounding fastballs why not dude they're 105 miles an hour 105 oh, right. now he's not gonna be 105 online i think he tops out at 103 that's still insanely fast Aye. and punchy let's go baby first mission's done let's go the loud portal opening sound i got 100 stubs and 100 xp pretty cool next episode in five seconds this is kind of dope this is pretty dope like, I feel like I'm learning quite, I, I like this. I think they should do a lot of moments in this same style. This is cool, I think. Learning, like, this is pretty dope. Alrighty, let's do it. There's the big old timey glove. The dodgeball looks like, I don't, I, I guess that's just a curveball, a sweeping curve, something. I don't know. Let's try it. Strike, dodge looks good. And bam, there's a punchy. Let's go. What all am I supposed to do in this one? Pitch two innings, don't give up a run. Okay, I'm gonna drop the, uh, I think this is the, that's the creep pitch. I don't, I, I think it's a screwball. I don't know, I don't really know. I'm trying my best here. Watch it go by. Yep, hey. thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, may the Lord be with you. I wonder, do we unlock these stadiums? Do we need to unlock these stadiums? Do these stay, can we use these in ranked? Do we wanna use oh, these in ranked? I have no idea. I just know they're new. I haven't really looked at the dimensions and the altitude or anything. Wind it up. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, it's cool. It's cool. You ain't leaving. Let's go, baby. Thank you. Big out. Fastball. B-ball. Let's go, baby. Two punchies. I mean, two outs. Let's go. I missed. Nope. Outside. We're going to go with a dipsy. I don't know what a dipsy is. The other hand, I'm also realizing I'm getting the hang of pinpoint again, like I used to, and it feels really nice. Let's go, three outs. Completed this episode, yes sir, let's go. Bam, success, we'll take it. We got some icon packs, 100 stubs, and 100 XP for doing that. All right, so Google might be wrong. They told me the hardest that it's believed he threw was 98, I don't know. Regardless, this is dope. And what I was saying about legends getting like improved, like Babe Ruth, for instance, he went against plumbers. Well, Babe Ruth has insane hitting stats because he's a legend of the game and he was one of the best of his time, right? So that's why they usually do that. Strike out one batter. Oh, this one's easy. Hey. Yup. I'm gonna b-ball again right here, dude. Yo, on the ground. I'm covering for, oh, wait, that's not a strikeout. He's out. Just chuck the b-ball in there and hope it's a punchy. Foul ball. I swear if you catch that, I'm gonna cry. Thank you. Let's go. And then we're going up and in. I don't I can only throw the fastball, man. Please, please strike out. Let's go. I did it. Success. First try. Let's go. We gotta stay. Okay, so you do get the stadium packs. Okay, so we got stadium pack, 100 stubs, and 100 XP. Let's go. Wait, do I not get another cutscene? Don't get another cutscene? I don't know what just happened. Pitch an inning and okay. Yo. That's nasty. Let's do it. Fastball up in. Let's go. Punchy, two away. Swing, strike two. I'm going up and in. B ball. Success. Got a bat, 250 subs, 250 XP. That's a pretty cool. Like, it's cool to hear like these stories and to like, like I, I didn't know about the chewing rapper thing. I'm assuming most of you probably didn't either at home. I don't, this is kind of dope. I like learning about all this stuff. All right, we got to throw, I don't, what the hell do I do? Pitch an inning, don't walk anybody. Well, let me tell you something. I have the B ball. I'm never going to walk anybody ever again, but I'm going to start with a dodgeball because why not? Wind her up. Oh, one Nailed it. Oh, two. Can we get him with the fastball? Low and in the B-ball on the ground. And we should get that out, right? Yes. Out. We've done it. Let's go. One away. This poor, this poor dude, bro. I just keep, I just keep striking him out. Sorry there, bud. 
on the ground yes let's go baby there's three outs i think i completed it right pitch an inning yes success i'm the best there ever was gosh dang it i done tell you what let's go we got a bat skin 250 uh stubs and 250 xp let's go bob kendrick has such a nice voice man these, these these are cool stories man this is dope okay so this moment is actually insanity oh, when you click the right stick and you look the infield is actually kneeled around behind him that this is kind of sick there we go on the b-ball baby and then i'm going with a creep right here good luck good morning good afternoon good night let's go punchy yes oh that was down the middle that was scary i almost messed up i'm going creep and this is fun i like this. this is this is actually really dope fastball b-ball let's go bam oh one's the count that's a whiff oh two is the count i'm going two hump away i think that's the slider nine pitches let's go baby mission success i am the greatest there ever was at the pitching i got a ball and as i have packed 250 stubs and 250 xp i don't know how I, i've lost count on how many episodes i've done there were nine i think i might be i think i might have have i done five i don't know these are pretty dope though i'm not gonna lie and they're really not like a huge grind they're definitely you know like you're not gonna be in like these are pretty cool these are dope sds was really really uh you know they're really proud of this moment like i mean we saw in the stream uh ramones he kind of was getting a little bit emotional and kind of broke down in tears this is a really dope program and it's kind of cool to be able to like learn shit while you're playing i guess because satchel's old now in this story i can only throw 85. i was trying to figure out what the hell happened to my fastball i was like how do we go from 105 to, to 85 but i guess it's because he's old they were talking about how he might be closer to 52 i guess there's strike two let's go now we're going fastball up in even though it's 85 I'm blowing it by him i feel it the wind up the pitch i mean we got him out i mean you know i mean it wasn't a it wasn't a strikeout right but you know i mean I, we're fine 86 on that one i'm going screwball inside the pitch mix on this card's too pretty nutty let's go and then r1 is the sinker yeah i think this card will definitely definitely play online this is a wild pitch mix let's go should be the inning let's go three away success i am a champion let's continue next episode we got the monarchs jersey we got 250 stubs and 250 xp Where there might not be a a, a cutscene for all of these is what i'm learning all right we have to pitch two innings and don't give up a run got this all day every day I'm about to strike this dude out with the 85. That's 87. Oh shit. Was I allowed to give up a hit? Did I mess up? Have I made a mistake? Did I fail? I guess not. I guess we're good. Screwball. Can I get the double play? Oh, bro. That was close. Okay. Word. I'm going sinker. Induce the ground ball. And instead, I'm going to give up a hit. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm not panicking, but I'm panicking. Runners on first and third. Really close pitch. I'm not gonna lie, I would have taken that. That's up the middle. That might be a double play, but I'm gonna fail it because the run. He's out. Ah, that's oh. the first one I failed. I'm not a professional. Let's do it again. All right, here we go. No base hits. Nothing. First try every time. It wouldn't be a demo video if I didn't absolutely butcher a uh, moment right off the rip. You know what I mean? Popped it up. Is that getting caught? I do not believe so fastball up and in here we go baby it's happening it's happening striking this dude out they're making too much contact i don't like it let's go with the slider low and away hey. got him there's one out we're already doing better i'm gonna go with another slider here start him off with it and then i'm gonna throw the sinker then i'm gonna go fastball up and in that's the move because i can still get ground ball out you know what i mean just don't give up the big boy hits like i was sinker let's go and then we're no going ball, fastball up in this fella here with no batting gloves. I respect him. No batting gloves. Let's go. There's two. And then we're just going sinker. Give me the ground ball out. Let's move on and do our next inning. I'm feeling it. The 42-year-old rookie. I wonder if we're going to get... I mean, I, I don't know what overall the card is you get from doing these. I don't know if we're going to get like their best card. 
or if we're getting like maybe i'm getting the 42 year old rookie card i would assume not i would assume they give you a pretty nasty like 90 something right there's a punchy let's go baby yeah yeah i think satchel page is gonna fit in real nice on our no money spin team i'm not gonna lie especially if they give him the nice outlier the sinker the like if the pitch mix is the same five pitches outlier he's gonna be absolutely disgusting like a must-have on everybody's team like i said these moments and stuff like that they're not hard you can really just kind of enjoy the learning that you're doing from the stories and stuff and just play say that but i'm about to give up a home run most likely and have to redo it let's go pop up he's under it easy i didn't fail it again chat we're good we learned we're the best there ever was i want to make sure my face cam isn't in the cutscene stuff so we got another monarch jersey we got 250 subs again and 250 xp i don't know how much all, how all that adds up i didn't keep it you know i wouldn't keep in track but we've gotten quite a few subs here strike out one batter pitch three innings and don't give up two hits easy give me the b-ball give me that back i know they just said he was like almost 59 so there's no chance i'm throwing 105 but i would have taken it i might actually think about walking a hitter here just to kind of get through the wind up that might be the move i wonder does that mean we get to go up against carl yastrzemski is that you think like all of a sudden he's gonna pop up here one ball two strikes. now that would be that'd be a dope way to announce that another new legends in the game what pitch did i just lose i just realized i only have a four pitch mix with this with this version of satchel popped it up should be under it easy out yes sir let's go one away i still have the slider i lost the sinker i guess at 59 throwing a sinker was just too hard relatable i feel oh, that man. let's go big punch yes please there's the one strikeout we needed now i just literally don't need to give up hits and just get through my three innings or am i tripping am i just not noticing a change with the umpire there am i tripping oh yeah baby big punchy there let's go we keep it going so i guess i guess they couldn't use his name because yeah carl's not on this i didn't know if maybe they were gonna just have his name there you know i don't know or maybe he would be a legend re uh, revealed at a later date but it didn't look like he was in the lineup card screwball send it absolute paint bro hey let's see if i can get the punch out with it see what's up got it let's go baby two innings in the books i need uno mas we can do this come on satchel Hi. a little hello paint i mean he swung and missed but it was still pain if he didn't Hi. now hear me out is it just me or is this batter absolutely triple caked up on a thursday i'm just Hi. noticing it's there say what you will take me oh yeah yes please baby 1800 stubs and 1500 xp for that let's go all right so we've completed the satchel page stuff this was really cool i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't know much about satchel page and i don't know a lot about a lot of these players in this program so it's kind of cool to be able to learn see the stories and i mean again bob kendrick just has like a really really nice voice he's just he's just fun to listen to so this is pretty cool make sure you check this out again if i don't have the cutscenes in this video it's because they were copyrighted or i'm still internally debating if i feel like i should cut the the, the storyline stuff out so that you can experience it on your own i don't know if that's the move or if you want to do it with me i don't know i'll have like a pinned comment down below with my decision you know or maybe they're there and i'm just talking out of my ass i don't really know but we do get 90 overall core so you can use them in any of the of the sets set one set two set three whatever uh satchel page the card art on this card is really really cool big fan and we've 100 percent completed satchel page and we got all these goodies now we're gonna go back to diamond dynasty i want to look at the card satchel page has his five pitch mix he's got 90 hit per nine 102 stamina this is pretty cool he's got his fastball curveball slider screwball sinker uh his control on his pitches you can see above my head 92 on the fastball 84 on the curve 80 on the sinker 79 74 slider screwball and then the break on these pitches looks pretty good as well the slider being the weakest at 78 screwball and sinker should play solid enough uh with 85 and then of course when you come over to quirks he does have outlier on the fastball and he has break outlier 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know this was a was a quirk, but less break when he's tired. He'll have a hundred pitches and still be throwing screwballs that make you see it at your eyes and then it drops down to your ankle. I'm with it. This is pretty cool. I can't wait to try this card. I'm gonna try it in ranked season. This might be the pitcher we use in our first ever ranked season game when we do that with this no money spent team as you can see no money spent as we're seeing look at my rotation we got a 97 95 95 90 90 and all we've done is just have fun playing the game playing some moments the bullpen is still a bit of an issue we do have jonathan loisaga and camilo Duvall uh in our pen because of the wbc program and i do need to probably fix my bench a little bit we'll throw uh nelson cruz out there and we'll throw we'll throw large new bar out there honestly we all I mean, we have diamonds everywhere besides bullpen that's something we got to work on but again we also have packs to open so we can see what we can get there the team's coming along rather nicely and we've not even really tackled a lot of it we haven't really gotten into uh, team infinity i have one adam duvall card that i'm trying to do the parallel xp stuff on so that i can advance in the nl east uh team infinity stuff so i mean we just started and oh yeah post editing tyler here again because i'm an idiot and i finally read your comments and you all were like dimu you didn't get your free jeter i've done it now free jeter yeah come on down baby Sh it's a diamond whoa what could that mean here we go oh no oh goodness oh my whoa make sure you get your free jeter there you go there you go i did it don't yell at me now it's my turn to yell at you did you know that most of you hello there winston did you know that most of you are not subscribed to the channel this many people aren't subscribed so please subscribe today thank you appreciate it we're getting to 150 that'll be 150k that'll be pretty neat that'll be pretty neat let's get back to the video enjoy enjoy go now with it being said with all the stuff we've done We've got these packs now. I'm gonna go ahead and open you everything I have here. We're gonna take one of these stadiums here. I don't know much about the NLB stadiums. Like, I don't know which one's like the dope one, which one everybody should be using or which one, you know, is like the favorite. I know the idea of having Forbes Field terrifies me because Forbes Field, I mean, Forbes Field sucked, but we're gonna take, we're gonna take Southside Park. Why not? We'll do that. And then we also have some uniforms here from the World Baseball Classic. I'm gonna go ahead and get these out first. Let's see, we can get, uh, which ones do we not have? We don't have these, cause we'll end up getting them all. So we'll just start going down the list there. Got another uh, World Baseball Classic uniform pack. We'll just go down the list and take everything that we do not have yet. Cause we wanna make sure we don't take any dupes. There we go. And we also have the Icons Choice Pack from Storylines. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll grab, uh, I think this is Kansas City Monarchs, I think. I think we'll grab that. We'll go with the bat skin here. Grab this, why not? We'll take, uh, you know what, let's stay with, let's uh, do this. And this one I just took, I don't know now, now I'm, now I'm confused. We're taking this and now we can start opening these packs. Now I'm gonna open the team affinity packs first. These being back in the game, I think is huge because these really were super dope for no money spent because we're collecting the live series stuff for collections. These packs right here give you live series players. And again, it's limited grinding. So we got two silvers. We got a we got a silver for the for the Tigers, silver for the White Sox, bronze for the Tigers, and a bronze for the White Sox. So Lucas Giolito is a bronze. I mean, I know he had a bad year, but holy God. All right. ALE, so we're gonna do the same thing. And odds are, since I haven't opened other packs, these are all going to be cards that I don't already have. So we're gonna open these here because again we are building collections and trying to go that route i do know which collection we want to do first um i like the red background there that's kind of cool we got josiah gray i'm all in on a big josiah gray breakout season i'm calling it i'm calling it we've got these al central uh choice packs here these are gonna be the gold rounds with different missions that we can do to try to get more we're gonna take makata and uh we're gonna take there's mini minoso we could go that route good old mini i feel like every time i take mini i'm horrible with them and everybody else does way better we could take the worst grady sizemore card i've ever seen in my life or we could take uh, let's take scherzer why not i like scherzer i'm down we'll take detroit scherzer al east we're gonna jump into that pack right here and again you're gonna end up getting all of these here i'm taking this aaron hicks card because i used it in a showdown it was really good oh boy bro wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i know i need pitching but he has two fastballs and a slider 
Raul Abanez, new legend. We could go that route, but dude, I'm seeing a, di a diamond Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau's got a good swing at ambition. We're taking Brandon Lau. Easy. He'll be so easy to do his missions on. Um, I do know what collection I want to do first. I think I want to do the Padres. That's what I would recommend because uh, Fernando Tatis is not in the game yet. I'm going to take McGuire. Um, he's not in the game yet, so that means you don't have to collect him. You can do the collection and totally avoid the expensive card that will be uh, Fernando Tatis. So make sure you do that. I'm going to take Jason Bay here. Why not? Show some love to the Pirates. And now we've got the rest of our packs here. We can get really fun stuff. I'm going to open the NL East in the captain pack uh, last. We'll get to that in a minute. I don't remember what this is. The season one XP player. Actually, I do remember what that is. We'll open that now. We'll go with the season XP path. Again, you get this in the season one reward path. These are also going to have missions, if I'm not mistaken, eventually. With these different subsets, you see how this is an all-star card on the right side. You see how this is a veteran card. These subsets will eventually be used in other collections for bigger and better cards down the road. So you do want to collect these. We'll take Tyler Anderson, the lefty. Why not? There's what was that? We got Walker Bueller here. We got Pudge. We got lefty Grove and then Castellanos. Castellanos looks kind of gross. I'm not going to lie. We're going to grab him right off the rip. Let's do it. And then I think I have another one of these. I do. Let's go take some more of these players out of this pack here. I'm going to take Ernie Banks. And then I'm going to take, uh, you know what? We'll take Pudge. Why not? Why not? Might be fun to use. And now we have 25 show packs, which means we could get diamonds. We have five ball as a habit. We've got the diamond duo stuff, which oh, let me tell you something. I will climax. If I get a dang 99, could tell Marte or Darvish out of this, I will scream. So we're hoping that the pack gods are blessing us here at 6 a.m. Maybe not. We got Garrett Stubbs. Does that excite you? I don't know. Maybe, perhaps. I have no idea. AJ Puck. I think he's hurt again. Totally is supposed to be pretty gross long term. You never know. He could he could get playing time this year. All of a sudden be a like a silver or gold. Maybe if he continues to, you know, be exciting. Reese Olsen, lads. Are you excited? Are you living life? Let's do it. Next show pack. Very much like a diamond here. Uh, we got Ryan Jeffers. Very exciting. Joe Smith. Fun. Bam. We got a silver Log Logan Gilbert. If I'm going to get not diamonds, I would really like these to be Padre players because I want to knock that collection out hella quick. I've got 47K and I've already packed Machado. So I might honestly just buy those players. That way I can save myself the expense. Because once they put once they put Tatis in, he's going to be so expensive and I don't want to do that. John Means Business and Brian Anderson. Talk about somebody who injuries have kind of really, really messed up his career. Will Harris, dude, he's a 63 common. I used to love Will Harris in BR. He was kind of gross. It's not anymore though. I don't know if I'm whipping out the common here. We got Brooks Rayleigh, all right. And we got uh, Vargas with the reddest background I've ever seen in a card. Cool, cool, cool. And whoever the hell Stefan Romero is. There you go. You big Stefan Romero fan chat. Ellen McHugh, the break. Will Benson, let's go. Show me something good. Bam, Evan Phillips. Honestly, that's not bad for a bullpen. We've been talking about bullpen kind of ass. Cutter sinker on him, and he's got 97 hit for nine. For no money spent, we'll take him. And then we got John. John Nagowski, I think is how you say that. Let's go. Pirates legend, Cardinal legend. I think he's played for a couple teams, actually. Eric Swanson, Eric Hosmer. Man, Eric Hosmer being a 72 is kind of wild. Not because I think he's good. Don't don't misconstrue me here. I just think he should have been a common. Anyway, Diego Castillo. And Alan Wrangle, cool, 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 cool. Another show pack here. We got Evan Longoria. And then nine show packs left. We're looking for anything. Oh, Clay Holmes might be another budget reliever that we can throw in the pin. Honestly, we might have an okay pin for ranked. I think we can do pretty good. Trevor May with like a green screen that's not green screened. Okay. We might have a decent enough pin to do work, at least I think. Darwinson, he's not a Red Sox anymore, the more I know now. Hudson Potts. You like pots, Brennan Davis? Okay, mark my words. When they come out with future stars, Brennan Davis is going to have a sick future star for the Cubs. I'm putting my money on it. O'Neal Cruz, this will be a diamond by the end of the year. I'm all in. I'm ready. I believe Dalton Jeffries. Heck yeah, dude. I am not going to lie. We did not get ass. We got ass in the free agent Trevor Story. The reason he's a free agent is because he's on the on the injured list and they don't want you to connect. Same thing that they would do with Tatis if he wasn't suspended. Drew Steckenrider, again, green screen with it's not greened out. Is what that makes me think of. 
Jose Alvarez and Jonah Bride. All right, so our packs kind of suck. We're going to go with, we're going to shake up the Mojo. We're going to go with the NL East Captain Pack. Now, here's the thing. You all know I'm what's known as a disgusting homer. And you're telling me that there's a big, thick son of a bitch named Austin Riley? Worse with fielding? What the hell? Hold on a minute. Why does this fielding go down so much? Happening. Put 11 hitters from the Braves on your team. He'll get plus 10 power to righties, 15 contact to lefties, and 15 power to lefties. So that would be... Dude, he'd be disgusting. I mean, defensively, he'd be a toad, but you never know. What happens if you take Josiah Gray? You get 10 hit per nine, 20 pitching clutch, and 15... K per nine. What do we need for no money spent? I need to be kind of smart here. I kind of think Austin Riley might be the pick. I know Sandy's right here and Sandy's gross, but I kind of already feel like I have pitchers that I'm I'm kind of fine with. Now he does have outlier on his circle change. Wait a minute. Primary pitch, circle change, outlier. Did I know that? Okay. Sinker, slider, and he gets plus 10 walk per nine, 15 hit per nine. What is that? What does the math come out to on that? 99, 109, 109 hit per nine if you go with a Marlins team. Am I going to go with a Marlins team team though? Probably not. T would be sick at catcher, but again, we have some fun new cards that we've never really seen before at catcher. Although JT does look sick. Man, he gets plus 15 arm strength, plus 10 contact versus lefties and plus 10, plus 15 power versus righties. I think I'm going to go with Austin Riley. I think he'd just be the most complete bat and I need offense. Call me a homer. I want Austin Riley. He's going to be on our team. Big, thick. I love him. Ballin is a habit. Now, historically, Ballin is a habit has not been kind to me. That's a dupe. We can sell him and make stubs. We'll take that. We'll take that. Ballin is a habit has been more so known as Ballin is a gold because they refuse to give me diamonds. And honestly, after opening two of these, it feels like it won't be the show is going to. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to effing come. Oh, my God. Yo, hold on a minute. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Dearest MLB The Show, I'd like to apologize that I was about to talk hella-ish on Ballin' is a Habit Packs. I'm sorry, God bless. This has never happened that I, I, I rarely ever get one diamond in a Ballin', let alone two in the same. We're opening one. It's purple, but I don't give a damn. Show me a Ronald Acuna Jr. Not another son of a bitch. Don't I already have Carlos Rodon? I'm swimming in Carlos. All right, so we have a dupe here. We can sell him. He's only worth 6K, son of a bitch. All right, okay. Let's let's look at everything else we got. You know, what you know about Nate Mondu? It's purple. Again, I don't care. We got two diamonds. Just show me something I don't have. Give me something fun, exciting, fresh, funky, delicious. Austin Big Thick Riley. I mean, I'm not going to use him because I have the captain card. <laughs> but yes, let's go. <laughs> now, some of you guys might be like, hey, Dimmer, are you going to sell this Austin Riley? Here's why I'm saying no, okay? I can sell him for 10K right now. We want to do collections. This is a card I don't have to buy again. Like, we're good. We can, we can put this into collections and we're fine. And if you're confused on collections, honestly, I'm going to go into that a little bit deeper when I start doing that. Um, just make sure you're not selling anything that you have only one of keep the players unless they're free agents you can get rid of those if you want but keep the players you have that uh are you know that you only have one of and then we'll go through it together in another time jack swinsky i don't know why i'm a big fan of swinsky but i am aaron bummer and then nico horner i'll, t I'll tell you what mlb the show i know this is greedy but i'll take another diamond no, that's fine. I understand. Now, you Darvish is an 84, and that's huge for the Padre collection we were just talking about. Well, I already have Machado. I have Darvish. I feel like I'm getting close to all of the really, really high cards in general. Now, this captain pack is from the season one set one uh, stuff. I'm going to tell you something, Internet. You might not believe in what I'm going to tell you here, but I'm taking Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper cards historically are absolutely money. Honestly, he's one of the first diamonds I always kind of hope to pull and no money spent because I diarrhea on people with Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper's swing is sweet, succulent, and beautiful. So we're gonna do it. We're taking him. Bryce Harper, come on down there, buddy. And then we have another one of these. I think you're gonna get all of them eventually, but for right now, I'm gonna take Ryan Presley, and here's why. I need bullpen help in the worst way. Elvis Andrus is a super weird and odd, odd captain here. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you're like, okay, Garrett Cole gets a fun diamond, sure. 
Ryan Presley, sure. Bryce Harper, and then they're like, oh, by the way, here's Elvis Sanders. Earth Egg and Presley, there you go, Astro fans. We took a Philly and an Astro. We took like the World Series combo there. Now, this is a fun pack. I would love to get Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte is going for 74K, and Cattell Marte is also historically an insanely good diamond card, and it will be the show. So if it will be the show wants to bless a boy, I'm just, I'm just saying. They didn't feel it this one. That's fine. George Kirby. Bless me. Bless me, please. Please. Every night I lay in my bed and I think, why God, why have you done this to me? I can't even complain. You gave me two diamonds in MLB this show. I'm happy. Now, I'm going to just quickly look at the Padres collection just to see where we're at here. Yeah, I've already got two gold. So Josh Hader's going for 7K. Soto for 7K. Those are kind of high for golds. But Musgrove is cheap. The rest of these get pretty cheap too, I think. These silvers are going for about a thousand. I might wait a little bit. Ah, maybe not. If I spend a little more on the silvers and golds of the of the Padres here to do this collection and unlock Jake Peavy, I think that's better than me waiting and potentially being super late. Them adding Tatis and me needing to get Tatis, which nobody's gonna have when he comes out. He's gonna be over a 90. I think he's gonna be an easily 100k card i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but that's my thought process there so i have to see what i want to do there but i think padres are the, are the team to hit quick usually i would tell you like teams that don't have diamonds not an expensive team the athletics you can get vita blue really really quick this is i mean look at the, most of the team is bronze and commons i would tell you to hit them quick but i'm telling you the padres once they add tatis he'll get expensive and because he'll be so many people have already opened a ton of packs as the game came out early, you know? A lot of people are gonna have him. He's gonna be he's gonna be expensive for a minute, I feel. I could be wrong, but that's the way I'm thinking. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Anyway, the team as it stands, if I were to jump in and keep grinding, looks pretty dang good. I'm gonna go ahead and post that uh, Carlos Rondon card. We're gonna go ahead and post him. I'm gonna sell him for one stub under. Oh God, why can't I see? Oh, I don't like that. You gotta get rid of the blur there. Let me see what the hell I'm typing. 7299 is the one stub under the current lowest sell or highest sell price. We're gonna put him for there. If somebody buys him, we'll have whatever the tax is after 7,299 and we'll be good. We're at 50,000 stubs currently. So I definitely could knock out the Padres right now if I wanted to and maybe another team. I'm gonna continue to grind on Twitch. And if you're watching this, I'm probably either live or I will be live doing the absolutely massive and I think hugely needed to be done Nation of Baseball Conquest on Twitch. That link's in the description. Come say hi. Say you found me from the YouTube videos. I like meeting you people from YouTube over on Twitch too. And of course, I hope you have a great day. The grind is here, man. There's so much content. Don't feel overwhelmed. I promise you, you can do it. We're all gonna have a good time. Anyway. I hope you had a fantastic time. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. I love you. Bye.